Dr. Vudi at Northeast Georgia Plastic Surgery. I'm here with one of my wonderful patients. She's had breast uh, reconstruction with uh, expanders in place. What we're going to be doing right now is using a magnet. So the magnet is kind of like a water finder, the good old-fashioned Indian water finder that you used to find when you used to rain. But it finds where the port is, so as you go around, you can see where the port is by being centered. And I push down, and I can see an X. When I see the X, I know that's where the port's going to be. So then what I'm going to do is, is sterilize it with some chlorhexidine. We normally do this about three or four weeks after the expanders are placed after the mastectomy. So she's healed enough where I feel like expansion is appropriate. You feel a little pinch. So a little pinch right there. And it goes in and I immediately feel the port. So now I'm going to insert about 50 cc's of uh, saline in there. And as I do this, you can actually physically see the, the breast starting to expand. So we're expanding, expanding. How's that feel? I don't even feel it. Right. Yeah. And that's what we're going for. Yeah, right. We're going for the fact that there's that there's minimal pain, there's minimal discomfort. So, good. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Now, sometimes I put more than 50 cc's in there, but in, this is your first fill, and the, because this is your first fill, I like to maintain it at a lower level, and as time goes on, we may increase it. Okay, good. All right, we'll go for the next one. Once again, I'm going to have all my setup ready. Use my little finder to find out where that. Right there, I can see in the middle. Sterilize it. So uh, the advantage of doing these expanders is that it allows us to develop a breast shape that we like. This is not the permanent implant and that we were talking about the fact that she kind of feels some pokiness and she was asking me if that's expander and the answer is yes. Um, these expanders are hard, they're not intended to feel like a real breast and their job is to push and expand the skin. People always say, hey, but these, these things are so hard and I would say that's exactly what they're supposed to be because they're supposed to pull on your skin and try to recruit skin. So. How was that? Great. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh my awesome. So that's and that's it. And, and what's, what's going to happen? She's going to come back and see me again next week, okay. and we're going to see how everything looks and continue the expansion process. And once we get to the full capacity of the breast expander, then what we're going to do is advance uh, to letting everything settle and switch it out for a permanent implant. This is what you have right now in your breast. It's the tissue expander. So obviously this one's deflated. And that's the pore that we're going to use to inflate, either with air or with the saline. And then we'll use this little magnet here to help find the port. And then the doctor will mark an X, and then we'll go through there. And then we'll start expanding it. And then, you know, every session you'll go home and eval and see if you like that size or not. And then once you're satisfied and you feel comfortable with what you have, then you tell us. Um, and then we'll probably just start planning from surgery to exchange it to a soft silicone implant like this one.